Numbers chapter 3, the Levites. This is the family tree of Aaron and Moses. At the time, God spoke on Mount Sinai. The names of Aaron's sons. Nadab, the firstborn. Ahub. Izar. And Ikmar, anointed priest, ordained to serve as priest. But Nadab and Abru fell dead in the presence of God when they offered unauthorized sacrifice to him in the wilderness of Sinai. They left no sons, and so only Esnar and Samar served as priests during the lifetime of their father Aaron. 5 through 10. God spoke to Moses. He said, Bring forward the tribe of Levi and present them to Aaron so they can call him. They shall work for him. And the whole congregation at the tent of meeting by doing the work of the dwelling. Their job is to to be responsible for all the furnishings of the dwelling, maintaining the affairs of the dwelling as the people of Israel come to perform their duties. Turn the Levites over to Aaron and his sons. They are the ones assigned to work full-time for him. Appoint Aaron and his sons to minister as priests. Everyone else who tries to elbow his way in will be put to death. 11 through 13. God spoke to Moses. I have taken the Levites from among the people of Israel as a stand in for every Israelite mother's firstborn son. The Levites belong to me. All the firstborns are mine. When I kill the firstborn in Egypt, I concentrated for my own use every firstborn in Israel, whether human or animal. They belong to me. I am God. Verse 14 through 16. God spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai. Count the Levites by Extra central families and clans. Count every male a month old and older. Moses counted them just as he was instructed by the mouth of God. These are the names of the sons of Levi. Garshan, Kohath, and Merai. These are the names of the Garshan clan. 
Levi, and Shemuel, the sons of Kornath by clan, Amram, Ishar, Hebron, and Uzziel. Verse 20. These are the sons of Merai by clan. Mehai and Mishai. These are the clans of Levi, family by family. Garshan was an ancestor of the clan of the Le Le Lebrites and Shemites, known by the Garshan clan. All the men's males who were a month and older numbered 7,500. The Garshanite clans camped on the west behind the dwelling led by Eli, son of Leel. At the tent of meeting, the Garshanites were in charge of maintaining the dwelling and its tents and coverings the screen at the entrance of the tent of meeting. The hangings of the courtyard. The screen at, at the entrance of the courtyard that surrounded the dwelling and altar and the cords, everything having to do with these things. Verse 27 through 32. Corneth, the ancestor of the clan of Amorites, Elzites, and Herberites, Uzites, these are n known as the Koharites clan. All the men were one month and older, numbered 8,600. The Koharites were in charge charge of the sanctuary. The Kohananites clan camped on the south side of the dwelling. By Ephron of Uziel. They were in charge of caring for the chest, the table, the lampstand, the altars, the articles of the sanctuary used in worship, and the screen, everything having to do with these things. Elzar, the son of Aaron, the priest, supervised the leaders of the Lamanites, Levites, and those in charge of the sanctuary. 33 through 37. Mary Harnites was the ancestor to the clan of Maharnites and the Mishnites known as the Mennonite clan. The men who were one month and older numbered 6,200. They were led by Zuel, 
son of Abraham camped on the north side of the dwelling. The Maronites were in charge of the fam frames of the dwelling, its crossbars, posts, bases, and all the equipment, everything having to do with these things, as well as the post surrounding courtyard with their bases, tents, pegs, and cords. Verse 38. Moses and Aaron and his sons camped on the east side of the dwelling toward the rising sun in front of the tent of meeting. They were in charge of maintaining the sanctuary for the people of Israel. and the residuals of, of worship. Anyone else who tried to perform these duties was to be put to death. Verse 39. The son, some of the Levites counted at God's command by Moses and Aaron, clan by clan, males a month or older, Number 22,000. Verse 40 and 41. God spoke to Moses. Count all the firstborn males of people of Israel. who are one month and older, list their names, then sit apart for me, the Levites. Remember, I am God in place of all the firstborns. Among the people of Israel, also the livestock of the Levites in place of their livestock. I am God. Verse 42 and 43. So just as God commanded him, Moses counted at the all the newborns and firstborns of the people of Israel. The total number of firstborn males one month or older listed by name numbered 22,273, 44 through 48. Again, God spoke to Moses. He said, Take the Levites in place of all the firstborns of Israel and the livestock of the Levites in place of, of their livestock. The Levites are mine. I am God. Redeem the 273 firstborn Isra Israelites who exceeded the number of Levites by collecting five shackles for each using the sanctuary shackle. The shackle weighing 20 grams. Give the money to Aaron and his sons. So that they can do a redemption to the, the number of Israelites. 
So Moses collected the redemption money for all those who needed the number reduced by the Levites from the 273 firstborn and Israelites collected silver weighing 1365 shackles according to the sanctuary shackle most Moses turned down oven the redemption money to Aaron and his sons and he commanded by the word of God.